Have you ever wondered how just a tiny cell, smaller than the head of a pin, holds the potential to become a fully formed baby with a heartbeat, fingers and toes, dreams and a future? Join me as we embark on an incredible journey from one cell to a baby. It's a story of unimaginable transformation, rapid development, and the creation of life itself. How does a single cell become a baby? Well, it all starts with a tiny egg cell deep within the fallopian tubes of a woman's reproductive system. Each month, hormones do a little dance to release an egg. If healthy sperm meet the egg at the right time, one lucky sperm can actually fertilize the egg. At this point, the fertilized egg is still just a single cell, but it's one heck of a special cell. It contains half of the genetic material from the sperm and half from the egg, which makes it unique and sets the stage for the incredible journey ahead. In the first week after fertilization, this single cell starts dividing, creating two cells, then four, then eight and so on. As it travels down the fallopian tube, these multiplying cells form a ball and continue to divide as they journey towards the cozy walls of the uterus. Around day six or seven, this cluster of cells, now called a blastocyst, reaches the uterus and gets ready to implant. That's right. It sticks to the uterine wall like a sticky little seed taking root in the soil. Once implanted, the cells continue to multiply and differentiate, meaning some cells start to take on specific roles and develop into different tissues and organs. By the end of the first month, the embryo has developed a brain, spinal cord, and a tiny beating heart. Can you believe that? A tiny beating heart. Around week 5, the embryo is about an inch long and looks like a tadpole. Arms and legs start to bud, and the face begins to take shape with tiny little features. During the second trimester, the baby continues to grow rapidly. By week 16, the baby is almost 10 inches long and is very active, although you may not be able to feel the movements yet. The baby's organs are maturing, and many of them are now fully functional. By week 20, the baby is 14 inches long and weighs about a pound. You might start feeling those flutters and kicks that are so characteristic of pregnancy. These are the baby's first movements. Don't forget, each kick, punch or roll is a sign that your baby is doing well. Now, have you ever wondered when your baby starts hearing? Believe it or not, the tiny ears can start hearing sounds as early as week 16. So I'd love to hear. What song did you sing to your baby while pregnant? Share your thoughts below. By the start of the third trimester, the baby is getting longer and heavier every day. Around week 32, the baby practices breathing movements, getting ready for life outside the womb. The brain is developing rapidly, and the baby can now recognize mom's voice, feel her touch and even respond to light. By week 36, the baby is usually head down, ready for delivery. And believe it or not, the baby is now capable of dreaming. Yes, even in the womb, the brain is active, producing dreams that will one day fill the baby's mind. Finally, the day arrives. Labor begins, and the contractions come in waves. The cervix dilates, and it's time for the baby to make their grand entrance into the world. With each contraction, the baby moves down the birth canal. And then, with one final push, the baby is born. The first moments outside the womb are filled with wonder. The baby's eyes blink, taking in the bright lights for the first time. Tiny hands and feet move, exploring a whole new world. And then that first cry, a sound that echoes with life and joy. It's a sound that has echoed through human history, marking the beginning of a new life. This is more than just a video. It's a celebration of the miracle of life. It is a tribute to the incredible journey that began with a single cell and culminated in the miracle of a newborn baby. Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to share and subscribe if you found this video informative. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Until next time, stay curious, stay amazed and keep celebrating the miracles of life.